I'm pretty sure you heard about Phantom, FTM, yes, it's this one. It's another layer two, but it has a massive upgrade coming called Sonic that will change everything. Now in today's show, I'm going to explain what Sonic is, how we can profit from it, and how we can position ourselves for this Sonic airdrop. There is a million ways to make money in crypto and I'm on a mission to find them all. My name is Fairfan. The best part is if I find anything, I share it with you. So if I make money, you can make money too. If that sounds good, subscribe to the channel, smash and obliterate the like button. Let's get into the show. So. What is Phantom? Phantom is a layer one blockchain launched in 2019 as an Ethereum competitor. Things didn't change much since 2018-19, so Ethereum was still slow and expensive and whatnot, and Phantom was supposed to compete with Ethereum. Phantom is just like Ethereum, but it works a little bit different behind the scenes, and therefore it can be much faster and much cheaper. Now, Phantom has some massive brains behind them. So we have Andrew Cornier, for example, who is an absolute DeFi OG. If you've been in DeFi long enough, you know who he is and whatever he touches turns to gold. Now, how Phantom works and how can it be cheaper and, and, and faster than, for example, Ethereum? Phantom works like Ethereum. As I said, it uses a proof of stake consensus mechanism. Proof of stake, if you are not familiar with the term, means that there are validators that lock up some of their tokens and they validate transactions, they check and confirm transactions, and therefore making sure that everything runs smoothly. And because they do that, they get rewarded. Now, the logged up tokens that they have, if they do something malicious intentionally with the network, they try to tamper with the network, they can lose and will lose portion of their logged tokens. Now, Phantom uses something called the DAG technology. I don't wanna bore you with all the details, but what you have to know, it simply allows, the DAG technology simply allows processing more transactions and confirm them much faster and cheaper than if you would use Ethereum. So how much faster and cheaper? Well, much faster and much cheaper, but take a look at this. So if you scroll down here on Phantom's website, you will see that the finality is one second. Finality in a blockchain basically means that how certain you are that a transaction or piece of data is permanent and can be reversed. It's basically like sending a certified mail. If you send it and it's signed, there is no taking that mail back. That's what finality means. And this in case of Phantom is less than one second, which is absolutely fast. I'll show you a comparison in a second. Every transaction cost is $0.01, which is again, also very cheap compared to others. But let's look at how faster this is and how many transactions we can talk about. So if you look at the, the max theoretical transactions per second, in Phantom's case, it's 14, about 1400, 1476. If you compare this with all the major blockchains, you will see that Phantom is in the top 20, but this is not really enough to be a market leader. Phantom is quite an old tech, as I said, and even though it is quite an old tech, it still beats most of the blockchains in finality, because that's also very important. So if I filter here for finality, you will see that Phantom actually comes in as fourth. So even though it's in the top 25 based on transactions per second, it comes in as top four or the fourth uh, fastest based on finality. This is super cool because no one likes to wait and that's Phantom is all about. Now, why do I talk about Phantom and what is really Sonic and why do we need this upgrade? Sonic itself is a significant upgrade for the Phantom blockchain. It's like a new layer one chain with native layer two bridge to Ethereum. Again, I don't want to deep dive into the technical details, but what you have to understand from this is that it aims to use Phantom's strength, the technology, and provide faster, even faster transactions with much better finality. Now, by doing so, this will put them among the top leading chains again. Now, new chain means new token, and the governance token FTM, the governance token of Phantom, will migrate to S as a one-to-one -one basis. As you can see, it approved on the total votes here. Okay, okay, Fefe, I know it's cool, but why do we need another layer one? And why do we need this upgrade? I still don't understand. Hold your horses. Now, crypto is moving extremely fast. If you've been here in the space, you know that. Three months ago, it was a different landscape than it is today. But in terms of tech, it also moves very, very fast. So from the bottom of the previous cycle, a lot of new projects emerged as like hyper-fast layer ones, including Sui, uh, Sei, Optos. And you know, it's like, you like your iPhone 12, it's pretty cool and you can still use it and it's great, but you would rather use the newest iPhone if you want something that can like keep up with today's competition. And it's basically the same here as well. Phantom itself is great and you can still use it just like you can use an iPhone 12, but if you want to compete with the newest iPhone, you need a newest iPhone. That's why the Sonic upgrade. And I know you will say that we have Ethereum and EVM and layer twos and whatnot, but if you really look at layer twos, they also get quite expensive and they lag or become slow as there is activity. There is 
actually spike in the activity. Now let's look at how fast it's sunning because this is actually blowing my mind. So if you look at this article here, it says that realistic traffic that they expect is 2000 transactions per second. I'm gonna compare this in a second to, to, to all the other blockchains. 4,000 transactions per second on token swaps and 10,000 transactions per second on token transfers. That's insane because if you want to pay in a shop, for example, you need high transactions per second with very, very, very short finality. If you look down here, you will see that it's, it proposes a 1.6 second finality, which means nothing. It's very, very fast. So if you look at, for example, Bitcoin, you can look at Bitcoin up here, you will see that it can do seven transactions per second and the finality is one hour. If you look at Ethereum, you will see that the max transactions per second is 119 and the finality is 16. If you look at Phantom, on the other hand, you will see that the max transactions per second is 1400 and finality is less than zero seconds. Now these numbers will put Sonic among the top 10, if not among the top five, fastest blockchains out there if they can really pull this off. Now, why it is interesting? Because if you look at Aptos, for example, it has 160,000 transactions per second as maximum theoretical, but it only has 7,480 transactions uh, max recorded. So if, if Phantom is able to pull this off and if the Sonic upgrade is able to pull this off, this can literally put Phantom to become one of the fastest blockchains. Now, if it's still unclear why this can be a massive investment opportunity, and again, this is not a sponsored video, I'm just sharing you my thoughts, let me boil it down for you. Number one, we have a token that is sitting up at 60th place and could be the fastest blockchain in the industry if they pull this upgrade off. Now, if all this wasn't enough, let me give you something more. Number one, the 10,000 transactions per second is insane. It's just very, very good, especially if they can truly pull it off. We yet to see that. Number two, they have a 200 million FTM token allocation to accelerate migration to Sonic. This will go as they will say here. They will target allocations include native application grants, strategic grants to D apps, first class infrastructure tools and partners for developers and users. That means this is an incentive back, which is which is basically a hundred million dollars worth of FTM tokens that they commit to advancing the ecosystem. Number two, there is a meme season competition. That means they allocated 10,000 FTM tokens, about $5 million in current prices for meme deployers and holders. Now over 5,000 wheels will be airdropped this month if you already been farming this, you get it. But the next round is coming up in July, very, very soon. So it's definitely worth keeping an eye on as well. Basic idea here is to incentivize the meme communities to come to FTM, whether you're a deployer or a holder or a buyer, this could be something to look at and get an airdrop from that. And talking about an airdrop, they have almost $100 million worth of FTM tokens allocated for different airdrops when the Sonic mainlet launches. Now, the launch is expected in Q4 this year, so absolutely not late with it. The question really is how to qualify for the airdrop. Now, I wrote a complete thread down in the description on everything we talked about and with the links that you can use to qualify for the airdrop. I would recommend you check it out. All the links are in there so you don't have to search for the articles and whatnot that I talked about. This should be down in the description as Fefe's thread on FTM and Sonic, but I'm gonna give you the high level overview here as well. So here's the thing. If you have used Phantom before or if you've been affected by the multi-chain bridge hack, you have to do nothing. You have to wait for more details. Obviously, follow their uh, Twitter. I mean, I would suggest you follow their their Twitter account. Everything will be posted there. But if you're new to Phantom and you hear you like what you hear and you're like, Fafa, I want to get into this. The number one main thing you can do is to wait for the mainnet launch. The reason why you gotta wait for the mainnet launch because they already have a lot of promises for the mainnet uh, uh, launch and the airdrop, liquidity providers across range of Sonic D apps, staking validating on the Sonic network, liquid staking tokens hold, uh, holders on Sonic, verified contract deployers, audience activation campaigns and quest participants. This is also coming from X uh, and, and much more. So you, when the mainnet launches, when you get the announcement, it will be worth uh, participating in there to get a Sonic airdrop. But you can also do some stuff now, although it's not confirmed, but what you can do, for example, is that you can go onto this website again, down in the description, you will see is the wallet.phantom.network. You will be able to load your MetaMask wallet. I will teach you in the thread how to actually do that step-by-step -step with Phantom that you can buy on any centralized exchange, and you will be able to vote on governance. Even if you just have one Phantom, you will be able to do that. By voting, you are actively participating in the ecosystem, and potentially you could get an airdrop. Another thing you can do right now is to use the Sonic test. And again, nothing is confirmed, but usually what we see is that if you use a testnet, you are going to qualify for an airdrop. I don't know if this is the case here, but if it is, you might just want to play around and find out. So again, I included this 
uh, website and the thread as well. But basically what you gotta do is you gotta go connect your wallet to this site, uh, add the testnet to your MetaMask account. And then once you have that, you can just play around with it and uh, make some transactions and therefore test the network itself and potentially qualify for the airdrop. Now summarizing everything, I personally am extremely bullish on this Sonic upgrade. It's not only because it's gonna be great and if they pull it off as they promise with the transactions per second and they can actually deliver that this can be one of the fastest blockchains out there. But also because if you look at the token itself, it's sitting at number 60, 60th spot uh, on to based on total market cap. Yet, if this will be the largest uh, or the fastest blockchain, uh, I don't see any reason why this would not have a catch-up rally. I do think that Phantom or Sonic can pull a 5 to 10x this bull market, no questions. If, again, if the launch and the upgrade is successful and they can deliver what they promise. One more thing what is interesting to point out here is that you see that most of the tokens are in circulation and therefore what Ren always talks about this high float, low FDV uh, tokens. If you look at this, the, the market cap is 1.4 billion and the full diluted market cap is 1.6. So because the FDV and market cap ratio is, is, is low, the chances of retail buying it and not buying some VC bags is actually pretty great as well. Just another info to consider. Guys, this was the video. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you got any value out of it. I hope that you understand a little bit better what Sonic is and what the Phantom Foundation promises. Full disclosure, I do have a small bag on FTM. I will obviously convert it to Sonic and just ride the wave. We'll see how it goes. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you. Please remember to smash the like on your way out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Follow me on Twitter. I bring you daily alpha, the best thing ever. The best thing ever? The best thing ever. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I believe I will see you in the next one. Take care.